Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are taking you on an exciting mall tour across Bonifacio Global City. That's right and here we're gonna make a stop at every mall and also answer some questions about what it's like to be in a relationship with somebody from a different country, culture and those kinds of things. We'll get into all of that stuff in this video. Our first stop is SM Aura, where we're going to have brunch and show you kind of some of the high-end and nice shops that they have in here. So this is one of the higher-end malls here in BGC. All right, and we are here right now at Providor. This is one of the best breakfast place here in BGC. They're well known because of their delicious pastries and bread and of course their burger they have the bone marrow burger which is very very delicious i think it's a must try so i'm gonna so what i did order was the uh, chili bread bowl which is right here and it's amazing this is highly recommended like really hit the spot and behind me here is paul restaurant they have a few locations around, but this is one of our favorites. And I highly recommend the uh, tartine salmon. Oh, such a good sandwich. So on the first floor, they got all of this beauty shops and all of the cosmetics. So let's go on the second floor and let's check what they have there. And on the second floor, we actually have more high fashion as well as a Samsung store and my favorite, the Power Mac Center, where you can buy all your amazing Apple things. The third floor is a very diverse floor. You have everything from coffee shop, restaurant, to a children's store. There is actually a crate and barrel over there where you can find fancy furniture and things like this. And there is also here Cultura Filipino, which is a store selling all sorts of Filipino souvenirs and items. On the fourth floor, this is where you'll find the sports shops and the gadget store. Welcome to Sky Park! And this will be the spot where we pause for a minute and answer some of your questions. Alright, so now we're gonna answer some of your questions. How does it feel like to live with Apam? Apam is a foreigner around Manila. Or there's another one, what was it? A uh, foreigner assigned to Manila is another colloquial expression. Yeah, so this is a very good question actually. So how does it feel like to live with a FOM? So after being with a foreigner for a little while, like you don't really pay attention to it anymore. Like I don't even think about Greg that he's a foreigner since we understand each other. Yeah, I don't pay attention to it. Yeah, I would say the flip side of that for me also is that since I grew up in the United States where it's a very diverse community, there's people from all walks of life and different ethnicities there. So I don't feel like Karen's a foreigner to me. because I don't feel that she's a foreigner really because we get along, we understand everything. She also understands my culture, I understand hers. So I feel like actually if we lived in the US, I wouldn't feel any different. Like Karen would just blend right in. Exactly. Next question, where are you from? Okay. So I will start. I'm actually Polish. I was born in Poland and when I was seven years old, my family moved to the United States permanently and I grew up as a result of the United States and we haven't actually been back to Poland. We came back once for a vacation for like two weeks and that's it. So, so I really just feel American. I grew up in the United States. So when people tell me where you're from, I usually say I'm American and I do have dual citizenship. So I am a Polish citizen and a U.S. citizen. You know, I'm originally from Bacolod City. Um, that's in Visayas. And then my parents and I moved to Davao City, which is in Mindanao, the south of the Philippines, when I was 16. So yeah, I can speak Ilonggo and also Visaya. So next question uh, comes from an audience member is, uh, do you want kids eventually? And for me, I would say yes, I think I'm getting to the point in my life where it would be nice to have a new phase of life and leave a legacy behind as well. So I think I wasn't ready for that pretty much ever in my life. And even now, it seems a little bit scary to think that, but I think I'm pretty much ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, let's put it that way. And what I don't want to happen is I don't want to end up being the like 80 year old parent at a you know parent teacher conference or something like that. So I think it's gonna be time sooner than later, but we haven't you know really discussed an exact time or anything yet, but you know, I would say coming soon maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that. <laughs> You'll have to subscribe to this channel so you can follow along. <laughs> Go for me. 
yeah, yeah. Of course, I want kids. How many? <laughs> this many. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> um, maybe two. How about right. you? I, I think one or two is fine. I think that's okay. It's a manageable amount. Um, I don't think I, I would want to do more than that because there's just too much chaos and everything else. One or two is fine. Yeah, yeah, one or two, but two. But two, <laughs> one or two, but two. <laughs> well, you gotta have two in case the first one is, you know, doesn't turn out so good, right? <laughs> we'll go to the next destination. Yeah, we're gonna rest here for a few minutes in the sky park and then uh, we'll see you guys in the next destination and we'll continue showing you the next mall. All right. So Market Market is one of my favorite malls as well. So they have the fresh produce here and of course inside the mall they have the fashion market i love shopping there let's go welcome to the fashion market this is where you'll find an independent shop that offers very affordable clothing and on the third floor we have the gift market and here you're gonna find a few imported items including there's like an american dollar store equivalent plus a lot of jewelry shops and little knickknacks you can find so we are currently at the fourth floor of Market Market. This is where you'll find the cell phone repair shops. And this is more affordable than going to any service center outside. Here on the fourth floor, you can also find a good food court, which has a lot of good local food options for pretty cheap. Um, you can actually take a look over here. Some of these meals started like 170 pesos, which is about $3 USD. So to eat like lunch that's already warm, prepared, ready to go for $3, it's a pretty good value. So a very common question that we get is, what makes Karen special? Why did I pick Karen and you know what's good about her as a partner? And then also the follow-up question I always get is, well, where do I get my own Karen? You know, how do I get a Karen? In fact, one of our friends was like, oh, I need to get myself a Karen, you know? So how does it uh, all work? Let's break it down. Some of the things that make her special to me is that she's very understanding and caring. And uh, a lot of Filipinos actually, including Karen, have traditional values that you just don't find anymore in a large parts of the West. Like for example, in the US, a lot of the women are now career oriented, they're looking at money and those things as their primary factors in life. Whereas in the Philippines, I feel like women are still about traditional family values. They want to raise kids, families, they care about the people they're with. It's, uh, it's not so uh, money oriented. Of course, there are some people like that here also, but it's not the norm. The norm is actually very traditional, humble background. So that's kind of what attracted me to Karen is that uh, we can just focus on having a good time together. We can focus on the feelings and kind of getting along with the understanding. It's not about like money or a transactional relationship, if you will. And you know, for how do you get your own Karen? Well, one of the mistakes a lot of guys make is they'll meet a girl uh, immediately and then they'll try to like just make that work mm -hmm. with that girl, even if she's not the right girl. So you have to actually um, look around and decide what you want first and make sure that the girls that you meet will actually fit your criteria. You can find somebody who is more compatible with you. Um, so actually there's a, a service like, for example, Christian Filipina, which can introduce you to girls who have good family values, good background, you know, make sure that they're not scammers, things like that. They can give you some good tips, advice as well on how to um, protect yourself against the bad apples out there and kind of narrow it down to just the kind of girls that you would want to meet. Yeah, exactly. So you can start finding your own Filipina using the dating service um, Christian Filipina. So you can start chatting them online and then um, since Filipinos speak English, of course, you will not have a hard time speaking English with them and having a good communication since they already speak English. And of course, in this dating service, um, there's a lot of Filipinas who's looking um, for the same trait and personalities like you. So I think you'll find the right person there who's really compatible with you. Exactly. Yeah, and like, for example, if you're looking for a girl who's gonna um, take care of the house, cook for you, like you know, be a good homemaker, you can find that. Now, if you are more into career-driven women or women who have a different balance, you can find that also. Yeah. But you know, you just have to know what you want ahead of time and then either look for that yourself if you have the time or use a service like Urchin Filipina in order to help you find exactly what you're looking for. So you can find your own Filipina, somebody who is sincere and loyal on Christian Filipina Dating Service. We will leave the link down below. You guys can check it out. Yep, exactly. And, uh, you know, 
I think if you guys are really serious about getting somebody who's a good life partner, the Philippines is a great place to do it. Good English, easy to come here. You know, it's a really good arrangement here, so. Welcome to Central Square. It is a shopping center which you can find here on High Street. It offers wide variety of high ends and foreign brands and also some local brands as well. And if you are into food, this is not really the best place to get a lot of food, but there is a Shake Shack here which has very high quality burgers. It's a well-known foreign brand for burgers and a lot of foreign people like that. So you can at least get your burger fix here. And in this mall, you can also find brands like Pottery Barn, Muji, and uh, there's a few other shops that are kind of like high-end furnishing and home goods stores. So if you're looking for kind of good quality stuff that you're used to in the West, especially if you're living as an expat. And on the top floor, they have the cinema here. And of course, Greg's There's favorite. actually a Chihuahua Mexican restaurant here where you can get burritos and tacos, which is So the next question that often comes up with these kinds of relationships is the financial question. That is, what are the man's obligations to support not just the girl, but also her family and extended family as well? So I know that the cliche is that if you marry a Filipina, you marry her family. In our situation, uh, Karen's parents work, uh, her family mostly works, they're, they're fine, they never ask me for any support. It's really no different than any relationship I would have with somebody in the United States or anywhere else, really. So, of course, as the man, I feel like I should support my partner, but I don't feel any obligation to, you know, give allowances or support family or anything like that. Uh, but not everybody in Karen's family agrees, especially extended family, right? Like, you could tell us more about that. Yeah, when it comes to extended family's expectations, so, like, some of my relatives, message my mom and say that oh you're so lucky that your daughter has a foreigner boyfriend that it means that you know like he's taking care of you guys so you don't have to work anymore and my mom was like no it doesn't work that way like we don't ask anything from Greg we're fine that he's taking care of Garen that's already like more than you know more than right. enough honestly exactly yeah. exactly I think it's because you know Karen comes from a working family both our parents work her sister works also so everybody's kind of used to providing for themselves. I think that's very important when you're looking for a partner here in the Philippines. Because I think this is the mistake the guys make, is they come here and the first girl that gives them attention, they will latch onto it and then they're going to have to deal with all these problems later. But I think if you slow down and assess logically at first, before those emotional attachments come into play, like, you know, what is her family like? You know, does she have parents? Are they supporting her? Are they working? You know, is the family independent? If yeah, those really matters. Yeah, it does really matter. And if if you pick the right partner from a good family that you know doesn't need that financial support from you then you're not gonna have a problem in fact we are now at the one Bonifacio mall and we went actually straight downstairs this is where we're gonna start the little tour this is the food court area where you can actually find some pretty good quality food for really cheap now it's a little bit pricier than the traditional food court like local food but it's also cheaper than like a proper sit-down restaurant so you get a nice uh, middle ground of eating well for cheap. So this would be the mall I'd recommend for kind of everyday eating if you want to eat something a little nice. Welcome to Juan Bonifacio High Street Mall. And this mall is amazing. This is one of my favorite malls here in BGC. This is where you can shop, eat, and of course, if you want some Korean restaurants, go here. So fun. that's my favorite Korean restaurants. Get in there and enjoy Korean barbecue. Highly recommend it. Absolutely, it's a great mall for a little bit of everything. Shopping from gadgets to fashion, furnishings and restaurants. I mean, it really has it all. Very good mall. Yeah. And on the outside of One Bonifacio Mall, you have some fine dining um, experiences available, such as Wolfgang's behind me, which is a top-notch steakhouse. Very good food, very pricey, but very good. And then next to it, actually, you have Elephant Grounds, and then you have Amano, which is an Italian restaurant. And I would highly recommend the burrata ice cream there. It's so delicious. So another common question is, how is the English here? Uh, especially for people who've never been to the Philippines before, they wonder, if I meet somebody, can I get along with them? Are we gonna have a lot of problems communicating? Will we understand each other? And I think here in the Philippines, most people speak pretty good English, but there are differences between regions and education levels and things like that. So for example, if you're gonna meet somebody who has gone to college and lived in Manila, for example, their English will be much better than somebody who grew up in a province um, or some, some area, let's say they have a lower education level. Because if somebody's living in the province, they don't get to use English every day because they'll be speaking in their own language. 
so they don't get to practice. Whereas in Manila, you use English a lot everywhere, so people are just going to be more used to it. Um, for me and Karen, we don't really have any communication problems. I think sometimes, you know, Karen will pronounce uh, a few words. Yeah, things. she'll pronounce like, a few words. Funny. Comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> well, that's a very common way of saying it in the Philippines. Um, but I, I remember there was a few funny ones that I was like, wait, what did you say? Oh, creature. Creature. It's creature. <laughs> yeah, right. So there's a few words here and there. But I mean, there was never a point where she didn't understand the meaning of what I was saying. Mm -hmm. So I think that's totally fine. And me and Karen are able to talk about any topics. We talk about politics, we talk about religion, science. Philosophy. Anything, philosophy, yeah, that's right. Because we've been reading philosophy books together. Yeah. So I, I think, yeah, there's no problem at all. Um, but of course, Karen went to school, she's a graduate, she has her bachelor's degree. So yeah, she comes from that kind of uh, background. Now, if somebody came from a background from a different area, they might not have that. It's up to you to decide what you value in a partner. For me personally, I do value that communication, uh, but I know that there are some people out there who just want peace, quiet, and small talk, and that's fine. Another day, meaning another mall to explore. Right. <laughs> yeah, see, we have different outfits. <laughs> Yay, I don't have just one shirt. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to explore Mitsukoshi. Which is a Japanese style mall. I think the company is like 400 years old or something actually. Uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good mall. There's a lot of Japanese uh, themed items, restaurants, things like that. Plus, of course, the usual stuff that's found in every mall as well. Where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Mitsukushi, since it's originated from Japan, they have a lot of Japanese products here and items. It's so cute. But this is new, so they're just opening some store as well. The best part of this mall is the ground floor. Yes, the food court. So let's go and check it out. So that's where you can find your sushi, sashimi, and other um, Japanese food. And yeah, groceries as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Imported fully... Uh, stock grocery store and everything so yeah all right if you guys are wondering where is mitsukushi located so it's just across uptown palacio and in uptown palacio they also have the landers there so and then yeah. for those of you guys who don't know is kind of similar to a costco it's like the competitor to snr so it's like costco sam club or something like that back in europe and us the next destination would be uptown mall so we will answer one of your questions there, the last questions that we're going to. Ooh, get ready. What's it going to be? I don't know. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to, to Uptown, Uptown mall. mall. This is a really cool mall during the daytime. You got your groceries, you got all the shops like all the other malls. But during the nighttime, it's really special because the water fountain lights up. There's a whole fire show with fire and water and music and everything else. And it has a cool nightlife vibe actually for a mall anyway. So highly recommended. <laughs> The best part of this mall, it got tons of restaurants. The vibe is just elegant the moment you enter, luxurious, and yeah, this is a very nice place. Especially if you live near Uptown, of course, this is where you should go for groceries and other stuff. We are here in 12 in the afternoon, and of course, expect a big crowd in this mall, especially in the food court. They sell cheap foods there. They have um, BKK, it's like a um, Thai restaurant, yeah. and there's Sparrows, which has uh, yeah. pizza and all that, and this uh, and this mall is connected to the office building, so a lot of the office workers come down here for lunch as well. Right, so we're gonna answer one of your questions here. Um, why did we pick BGC over other provinces? Yeah, and I think it really comes down to a few factors for me. So as a foreigner, I'm used to good infrastructure, sidewalks, things like that, especially growing up in Chicago and I get all of that here in BGC. I can go walk around everywhere, they have proper infrastructure, good, uh, good sidewalks. I also have access to um, all of the kind of things that I would expect back home. So it really gives me the best of what I had back home with the Filipino twist. So I don't really feel like I'm compromising my quality of life um, on here. Now I do enjoy living in other places. I have lived in Davao for several years, which is a smaller city. I've lived in a province in South Cotabato as well for a while. I think it was out there like nine months. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it's fine to live in those places, 
uh, they all kind of felt like they were missing something. So it kind of made me keep moving around a little bit. And I find that uh, the best spot for everyday kind of normal life will be here in BDC. And in the meantime, we can still go out and enjoy other provinces. We can go travel to the beach, you know, and other places and make those trips special. Exactly. How about you, Karen? Are you happy here? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy here. Yeah. As long as I'm with you, <laughs> I'm happy anywhere. And, <laughs> yeah, and of course, here in BDC, you find different kind of Filipinos. Um, some Filipinos that are well-traveled, right? You yeah. can find it here in BGC. You can find yeah. different kind of friends here for me yeah, <laughs> as a Filipino. That's true. that's true. Yeah. That's a very good point. Actually, and even for me as a foreigner, sometimes it's hard to relate to people who are not from, you know, not as well-traveled or haven't had the same cultural experiences. Because like people, for example, in some of the provinces, they don't watch the same movies or things like that necessarily. So they don't, you know, there's a fundamental kind of gap. Whereas here in BGC, a lot of the Filipinos used to live abroad also, traveled, or they've caught up on culture from the U.S. So yeah. I can actually have Filipino friends here, which I do have, who I get along with just fine. And I'm also able to find my foreign friends here. Uh, it's a lot easier to find those people in BGC. They're all over the place here. Whereas if you live in a smaller place, uh, you might be the only foreigner in your neighborhood or there's very few. So you just don't get that same social life opportunity. All right, everyone, I think this is the end of our vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below which one is your favorite, which mall, and if you have any suggestions which places we should go to, comment down below. And also let us know what questions you might have about uh, relationships or any other topics about living in the Philippines. Let us know what you want to know, and uh, we'll see you in the next vlog. All right, please like and subscribe. Bye, everyone. And also don't forget to click the link in the video description below. Meet your potential life partner by signing up with Christian Filipina now. Oh, I'm looking and I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along.